guys, welcome back. So I'm going to tell you a wee, wee salmon fly called the um, Pink and Bodger. Now, this is these here, so I'm going to tie this one. This is the light version, Ooh. and that's the dark version. Okay, now they're sort of way different patterns. Because this one here has got a, both a, a front and a rear body of silver tinsel. This is more like a slight variation on the quin shrimp. But I'm going to show you this one here, and that's not very often that I tie on treble hooks anymore. I just think that they do more damage to the face than what's really necessary. Um, but each to their own, that's up to you. So, this one here, I'm going to start off I'm tying these in eights, tens, and twelves. So, this is a size eight Esmond Jury, an Ed Jury, and black. The thread that I'm going to use is the Uni 3801 black. Now, when I tie on a treble, it's quite different, obviously because of the hooks, than when you're tying on a single. Now, I start my thread at, do you see where the, the hook underneath is formed? Start your thread there. That's sort of way where I want my front body to end. And then getting ready for the, the front tackle. So at this point, the tag is going to be a an oval silver tinsel. Just catch it on the top now. Don't put that in your when you're uh, coming down with your thread turns. You want to shorten. Don't put that in, just cup. I'll cup the bobbin holder when I'm using it. Tighten up. Just basically I'm pushing my palm, pushing the thread against my palm so that no more thread is coming out of the, the bobbin holder. And then you want to keep the the thread within the gapes of the hooks now. Just come down until you're slightly past the point, basically between the point and the barb of the bottom hook. And then I'm going to come around with four turns of the oval silver. Now, this oval silver tinsel that I'm using is a small. Now, that's my four turns. Then at this point bring your last turn round and catch it in underneath the hook. Follow this around with your thread. Right? Just keep your thread nice and short. And just weave it in and out of the hook gaps. Then you can trim away your oval silver tinsel and shorten the thread back up again and keeping it within the, the gaps. The tail, you're just looking at golden pheasant body feller. It's a size 8 so going to decent enough feather off for a tail, is what I do. Right, just stroke the fibres back, getting your tip off of this up to the hook. Just come around with a couple of turns, catch it in the tip. And you just come in at this point and fold the tip of the hackle back. Just be careful with your thread on the, these two protruding hooks. Then come in and trim away the waist. Then we're going to fold these back, stroke the fibres back. Right, just keep a hold of your fibres in this hand when you start off and come around with your first turn. Then come in and hold it. And you just got to be careful with the, the hooks. Because we're going to come in and we're going to brace this out. We just want one turn in front of the other. I don't get too hung up about them catching at this point because like I say I'm going to brace them out. Just keep coming around with it to there. Bring your thread back into position. Follow this around with your tying thread. Now, you want to try and keep the body at the front nice and flat. So just work your thread up to the halfway point and come in and break that away. Then you come in with your a toothbrush, this just saves your your fingers on the hooks. And just brush out the fibers now. If you want to get the fibers to come back even further, just come in. You can loosen your vase. Just bring the just roll the fibers back in your finger and thumb and put your hook back in the vase, nice and tight, just give it a check. Now on the way back down, 
because the rear body here is going to be a, a tinsel. I'm just going to catch in a silver wire. Right. Shorten your thread turns yet again because you're coming in between the, the points of the hooks. Now, don't tie up onto the stem. The face aren't going to see us, so don't, don't worry about it. Rear body, holographic tinsel and pink and large. So, let's get a bit of this. Offer that up. Still keep your thread very short coming from your bobbin holder. And then work your thread up. Now you can you can open it up. Work it forward. Then we're going to come up with our tinsel. Just be careful not to catch your tinsel on the points of the hooks. Now just have a wee check here. Yeah, it's super. And then just overlapping turns of the pink tinsel up the body. Now this is a good wee fly on the moy. And that's where these the selection here is going to be heading to. So we'll come in from that way. And then come up with three turns over silver silver tinsel. I follow that around with our thread. Now what I'm trying to do here is just build a flat base up for a mid haggle. Bend away, break, bend and break away the wire. The mid haggle is a pink. We're going to light pink, not a magenta. Uh, using magenta on the other one that I showed you at the start. This is a light pink hen. I'm going to come down a wee bit here because I want to get the the fibers to be coming just past the tag. Now, see on a travel, just come in from the top. I mean, come in between these the two these two hooks. Come in from that point. Come around with a turn. Now, so just hold it there, keeping the thread tight. Come in, fold your tip back. Just tie up over the top of the tip. Come in and break that away. Then we're just going to fold this in between our finger and thumb. Just always taking care with the, the extra hooks there, guys. That's the, that's the most difficult part of trying on a travel, tying on a travel, sorry. Is that I'm just going to use up this old feller up to there. File this around with my thread. Nice and tight. <laughs> yeah, I want to keep that stem out in front because the body here is going to be a floss and I can break that away. And again, don't worry about it. Just come in and brush out the brush out the fibers. Way back down we'll catch in our wire. and hold everything back. Work your thread down tight up against the, the mid haggle. Front body, you're looking some black floss. This is just the uni floss, just rayon floss. So just offer that up to the hook. Put it at the length and work your thread forward. Now that's where we started our thread there. As you can see, so that's going to give you plenty of, plenty of room at the front here to finish off. Just come round with your floss and then just work your, your floss forward and touching turns to there. Catch that in, trim it away. Three turns of the silver wire up the body. that in and bend and break away the wire. Front haggle, just looking to badger haggle for the front. <coughs> Got one here, strip that away. Just bring out the fibers. Now I'm going to look two to three turns of this because the fibers on it are right and sparse. Just folding the tip of the hackle back again. Come in, break away the tip. 
and my scissors just came from folding the, the haggle back and then one turning front of the other. Now there would have been a time where when I was tying some on flags even for myself they all would have been tied on travels but then I had an experience with a fish one time where I just thought to myself that's that far on the on the salmon, especially if you're going to uh, practice catch and release. I don't think travels is a it's good for that. I'm just going to come around with a couple of tight turns, catching in the stem. I want to fold the stem back, so I'm just going to come in, fold the stem back, and work my thread back up. These couple of wee favors here, get them to sit back for me. Tighten up over the top of them. Then I'll come in and break away the stem. Now we're not in the business. Now this wee pattern, the original pattern, don't think it required jungle cock. <coughs> but I'm going to put two on. Right, two eyes here, just taking them off the cape. Stroke back the fibers. eyes just come in right, what I'll do is just come in use the the eye of the hook as a divider pinch them come around with a couple of loose turns just to see what way we're we're sitting because I want these roofed the way the other ones are and you can just check the the length this one here is just a wee bit long just going to bring it in a touch. That's nice now. Take another turn. Fold the, the stems of the jungle cock back. And then just build up our head. Some people when they tie on travels, they'll tie too close to the eye. Keeping your thread tight. Explain that in a minute. Come in and break away your stems. Don't be letting the, the thread go. Three turn will finish. And then you can come in and trim away the tie thread. Now, what I mean by that is, we will see. Look at that. an up eyed hook. Some people tend to tie right down, right down to here and then what will happen is you'll get thread slippage and your thread will constantly come up against the eye of the hook. That's why I always start where I want my body the end on that we uh, where the whale that the, the, hook, the, the hook underneath the shank um, if that makes any sense. So just to finish this we fly off. Sorry about going on there. Just trying to explain it. We drop a super glue. Just right the whole way right round. Just being careful not to touch your hackles. Once that dries guys, per normal, I'll just come in and put on a, a couple of coats of um, varnish under the head but that there's the the pink and badger so if you're going down to Amoy but work in any rivers in Ireland any rivers in the UK as well I have always faith in Irish shrimp patterns but then I'd be a wee bit fast so tie a few of those up hopefully then catch you a few fish as always thanks for taking the time to view the video greatly appreciate it until the next time stay safe and I'll catch you on the next one